Today, I am going to listen a very interesting story on The Prankster Shepherd's Wolfish Wake Up Once upon a time, in the quaint village of Meadowshire, there lived a mischievous shepherd boy named Toby. Toby was entrusted with the task of watching over a lively flock of sheep that grazed on the lush green hills surrounding the village. However, Toby was not your typical shepherd. He had a mischievous glint in his eye and a penchant for playing pranks on the unsuspecting villagers. Toby's days were rather monotonous, spent amidst the rolling hills and the incessant bleeding of his woolly companions. Seeking a bit of excitement, Toby hatched a plan to add a dash of drama to his routine. One sunny afternoon, as the villagers were going about their daily chores, Toby decided it was the perfect time to unleash his mischief. Positioning himself on a hillock overlooking the village, Toby took a deep breath and bellowed, Wolf! Wolf! The fearsome wolf is upon us! The villagers, alarmed by the urgent cry, dropped their tools and rushed to Toby's aid. They came running from all directions, carrying pitchforks and makeshift weapons, ready to face the dreaded wolf. However, to their surprise, when they reached Toby, all they found was a smirking shepherd boy. Oh, dear neighbors! It seems I fooled you again, chuckled Toby, reveling in the amusement of his prank. The villagers, realizing they had been duped, couldn't help but shake their heads at Toby's antics. Little did they know that this was just the beginning of Toby's playful exploits. As days passed, Toby continued to cry out a wolf. Wolf, at irregular intervals, luring the villagers into a false sense of alarm. Each time they rushed to his aid, only to find Toby grinning like a mischievous imp. The village became a theater of absurdity, with Toby as the unrivaled master of ceremonies. One day, as Toby was overseeing his flock, a real shadow fell over the meadow. A genuine wolf, drawn by the scent of the sheep, emerged from the forest, its eyes gleaming with hunger. Toby, oblivious to the impending danger, was busy preparing his next prank. This time, however, the villagers were not as gullible. They had grown tired of Toby's deceptive cries and decided to ignore him. But the wolf, cunning in its own right, silently approached the unsuspecting flock. Just as the wolf lunged towards the sheep, Toby, still caught up in his prank, realized the gravity of the situation. His eyes widened, and fear gripped his heart. Without a moment's hesitation, he screamed, Wolf! Wolf! A real wolf this time! This time, the villagers, reluctant to be fooled again, hesitated. But Toby's terror was genuine, and the urgency in his voice could not be ignored. The blacksmith, the farmer, and even the baker grabbed their tools and ran to Toby's aid. As they reached the meadow, they were met with a scene of chaos. The wolf, having already feasted on a few unfortunate sheep, was making a hasty escape. The villagers, realizing the gravity of the situation, chased after the wolf, determined to protect what was left of the flock. A comedic chase unfolded, with the villagers and the wolf weaving through the meadow like characters in a slapstick comedy. Toby, now remorseful and desperate to redeem himself, joined the pursuit. The once light-hearted atmosphere turned tense, as the fate of the remaining sheep hung in the balance. 
In a surprising turn of events, the blacksmith, armed with a clever contraption fashioned on the spot, managed to capture the wolf. The villagers, panting and victorious, stared at the captured intruder. Toby, catching his breath, couldn't believe the irony of the situation. The village learned a valuable lesson that day. Sometimes, the consequences of deception can be more severe than the initial prank. As they counted their losses and assessed the damage, Toby stood among the remorseful villagers, realizing the weight of his actions. The once playful shepherd boy, now humbled by the events, vowed to be more responsible. The villagers, in turn, forgave Toby for his earlier pranks, understanding that the mischievous boy had learned his lesson in the most unexpected way. And so, Meadowshire returned to its peaceful routine, with Toby keeping a watchful eye over the sheep and the villagers sharing a newfound camaraderie. The story of the mischievous shepherd boy who cried wolf served as a reminder that sometimes, even the most entertaining pranks can have unintended consequences, and the line between humor and reality is thin as a wolf's hungry growl. Hope you like the story. Hit the like button and share with your friends. Do subscribe the channel and turn on the notification. Thank you.